Let's say we're asked to solve the square root of 2x plus 1 minus square root of x equals 1. We start by recognizing that there are two radicals on the same side of the equation. So we first split them up so that we have 1 on each side by adding the square root of x to the right-hand side. At this stage, we can square both sides because we have a single radical isolated by itself on each side of the equation. On the left-hand side, the square root and the square cancel each other out, yielding just 2x plus 1. On the right-hand side, we use the special product formula, or simply FOIL, to get 1 plus 2 times the square root of x plus x. We can move the x and the 1 over to the left-hand side because we actually have another radical equation that was hidden inside the original one. As before, we solve radical equations by isolating the radical and then taking the appropriate power of both sides. So in this case, the x and the 1 needed to be moved to the left-hand side. Combining like terms on the left-hand side gives us just x. 2x minus x gives us x. The 1 minus the 1 is 0, so it cancels out. At this stage, we can square both sides because we have a single radical by itself on one side of the equation. Doing so gives us x squared equals 2 times the square root of x squared. Now when we apply the square to the inside of the right-hand side, 2 gets squared and gives us 4. The square root of x gets squared and gives us just x. At this stage, we recognize that we have a quadratic. We solve those typically by setting the equation equal to 0, and then factoring. So here, if we move the 4x to the left-hand side, we're left with x squared minus 4x equals 0. We see that there's a GCF of x, so we factor that out. Because the left-hand side is factored and the right-hand side equals 0, we can invoke the zero product property, which states that either x equals 0, which is done, or x minus 4 equals 0, which implies that x must equal 4. We add the 4 to the right-hand side. Since the indices are even, we started the problem with two square roots, we have to check our answers. So we start by writing the equation twice. And first on the left-hand side, I'm going to plug in 0. So 2 times 0 plus 1 minus the square root of 0 may or may not equal 1. That's what we're trying to determine. 2 times 0 is simply 0. On the left-hand side, 0 plus 1 just gives us 1. Everything else stays the same. The square root of 1 we rec recognize is just 1, and the square root of 0 is simply 0. 1 minus 0 gives us 1. Now since 1 does equal 1, we get a true statement at the end when we replace x with 0. This means that x equals 0 is a solution to our equation. Similarly, we can try the same thing with 4 on the right-hand side. So 2 times the 4 plus 1 inside the square root minus the square root of 4. We're trying to determine if that simplifies or evaluates out to 1. 2 times 4 is simply 8. 8 plus 1 gives us 9. So we have the square root of 9 minus the square root of 4, and we're trying to determine if that equals 1. Well, the square root of 9 is simply 3. The square root of 4, similarly, is 2. 3 minus the 2 gives us 1. And since 1 does include, or does indeed equal 1, we say that since we got a true statement upon plugging 4 into the original equation, 4 must be a solution as well.